Hey, greetings everyone. Just uh, doing another uh, live broadcast. The first one is I'm going to use it in a different um, different way. So I, I needed to, I wanted to make a, like a recording, but I thought, okay, I'll just have some fun and just go live and people get to see me doing some work, you know, like like having the camera, you know, on and you can see what I'm doing. So this one is more of a of a regular uh, broadcast, and so um, I'm trying to do it an experiment. So let me just bring up SolidWorks here. So today I'm not really going to get into talking much about Die Warriors or figures in general, things like that. I want to do an experiment involving domes. I have ideas for domes. Domes can be, you know, quite interesting. Okay, so shared and shared there. Get a little bit bigger. So um, the idea is I want to do a geodesic dome. Um, I could do something like an like a you know Arctic tent, um, some sort of off-planet uh, structure, things like that. So what I want to do is just have like some sort of basic shape that I will feel confident that if I replicate, I can make a ball out of it. And uh, so all I want to do at the moment is just to put together some sort of shape, a triangle really. And uh, because, you know, the bigger the dome, the, the more shapes you need to fill it in that's gonna take a lot of time so all i want to do really is just to, to do to do it where either to just have a basic shape that i'm confident that i can work on later to 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 do more stuff or if i could uh do it where i could have like a c-clip that can put two of these um um, triangles together and then have a, a, a clip that connects them both and that way I can just clip three sides each time and form a dome so that's the that's the basic idea um, this one that I have on the screen is kind of small so I want to I want to increase it I don't know what will be a good size for a figure but this one on the screen is about 40 millimeters and I was thinking maybe I should increase it to something like basically like the height of a figure if I do a hundred millimeter dome how would that be would that be huge thing is if I if I put something like lights on the inside you know it's got to have enough room to move around you know Positioning lights. That's about 100. The thing about it is something I learned with the VSS. Is that a lot of the lights that that you order from from um. From what you call it uh, you know like amazon and things a lot of the lights they have uh look locations to cut that's predetermined and some of those locations can be no cut areas yeah like here's a no cut area so this one here basically every every location to cut is 100 millimeters one two three and then there's one that jumps uh, a no cut so one of them is 200 millimeters so you know it's going to be kind of um interesting to see if you can make at around 100 millimeters uh a triangle where one direction you know might have to expand to twice the, the distance. 
Here's another one that's just white. This one's got shorter. Okay, so the RGB ones are gonna are gonna be like 100 millimeter lens. Yeah. And the regular, just plain white LED lights are gonna be less. So it's about 15 millimeters. But the, the plain white ones don't have no cut areas. So, oh gosh, I would love to do an RGB, but I'll, I'll settle with um, just, just plain white. So what I have on the screen is about 40 millimeters. I'm going to increase it to about 100 millimeters and see how that might look. Um, how do I do this without, see, I'm kind of nervous. Well, let's see. So one way I think I could just do an offset. Forty. So if I make this one, let's say ah, you know, so many thoughts are going into my mind about how to do this, and not one of them. I really, I'm really in positive. Well. Do the result that I want without having to do extra work. That would be 50 millimeters there. So let me do this. Let me go select this one as a master. So if I, in case I screw up, I can just go back to it. Sketch. Can I simply do three sides starting from here? See, if they were perfectly, Even though I specified 50, it's only the middle here that's 50. So the actual. So let me just do it again and. Uh... See, what I did on a previous experiment, what I was doing was 
making a 3D sketch. And I was thinking instead of doing the whole thing and then have a whole structure and I, and I have to, you know, take the structure apart, just using it as, as a guide. So I made a 3D sketch between two planes. And of course, you know, things are a little bit smaller. So I thought it would be. So I'm kind of winging it. Well, let's see. Let me just try it. So if I make this one just 50, no. Yeah, if I say 100. Okay, so everything proportionally went. So that's 100, that's 100, that's 100. Can I do it where it's 100, 100, 100? If I do it just white, it would have to be about 10 millimeters. Yeah, so if I do it just, uh, it would have to be about 10 millimeters. Thing is, is that if I'm going to have two put together, and they're ten millimeters each, they're you know, and so it's, it's a, it'll be about twenty millimeters because I'll have two. So I want to make it five, so I can have ten. And these things are, you know, they they attach by sticker. Now I guess I'm going to have to have it as, as, um, so let's just do 10 for the moment to go back in and fix things if I need to. So let's see, select chain. Oh, you know what I could do? I could probably do an inner piece. So let's make it five. And let's just say five or you know just just to make it easy for us so let's just do that okay so How would I do it? No, I don't know. Just, just kind of winging this. I was thinking of, you know, like a like a C clip, so that way I could go in and. 
uh, you know, not worry about doing like pre angles, you know, calculate the, the angle of the dome and then and then cut the corners of the pieces into uh, some sort of angle so pieces can fit. I was thinking of doing it where it's rounded so that way I can just uh, bend the triangles as needed to kind of make the, um, the circumference, well, the shape of the dome. So let me try. So what if I did this as an experiment? Oh. Let me do right here. Sketch, sketch. Make this into a construction line. Add. Let's make this uh I make it ten, it says twenty. Um make it twenty. Then let's add a little bit of space to it. Then um bi-directional some end caps there oh maybe not yeah so like this then um all i want to do is kind of cut the inside of it Just a little bit. Go one. The reverse. Okay, and can I do it again right here? And let's see, I want to trim this. I'm kind of winging it. Like a mirror. Let's, let's copy all of this. Can I do a rotational Cut, not cut, sorry. I'll make basically make a pattern. Can I go to make a circular pattern? Specify the point, which is right there, and then specify three sides. Okay, do it. Good. Then features, extruded cut. Up to surface, make the cut right here, and up to surface on the bottom. Okay. 
and then let's do here close actually not there let's do from the top let's go sketch I need to do this for both sides. Then, um, not linear, sorry. Circular. Three sides. Features, extruded cut. Well, what was the amount that I did? I don't remember. <laughs> Is it one? I guess it was one. Well, I'll find out right here. Sketch, sketch, paste. Yeah, it was one. So then I do another uh, on the other side. Then lock it in. Circular sketch pattern. Make it three. I got prints going, but it's just taking forever. Features, extruded cuts. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do. The reason why I was doing it with one was for this. Watch. Uh, fillet. One. Like a little bit more than one, but not by too much. Okay, that's a bit too much. Yeah, that 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 way there's um uh half a millimeter uh spacing in between, so I could put something like a support structure. So when I print it flat it will be able to support itself on the build plate. Okay, let's see how that looks. So let me go ahead and save this. File, save as. Where should I put this? Current. I'll put it under themes. Let's put it under geodesic.
new folder uh, version one new folder SolidWorks 2020 and I can put this one as a triangle one dash one like that now what I want to do here as, an ex as part of the experiment is I want to go to uh, right plane let me do a cutaway Okay, and then we do um, right plane again and go sketch, sketch. Angle this so I can work with it. So then let's do Offset. Reverse the direction of that. Wow. Okay. So let's just say one point two five. Just trace around this. Okay. And then doing an inner one of just one, one millimeter. Let's say select chain. Reverse direction. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Copy. Okay, let's try. File save. File new. Front plane, top plane. Let's try a uh, front plane. Sketch. Is that oh, I need to get the middle of it okay that's uh, way over there copy it just in case well so I just copied it come back here click right next to it and go that so what I think what I want to do is
the center line here. What I think what I want to do is um, let's try it here. Okay, again, what I think that I want to do is copy this. Actually, you don't need to go control Z. Let me put it back. Um, let me make a copy of this, a uh, mirror of this. Mirror entities. I want to mirror this around here. I can get rid of some of the inside stuff, but let's just leave it alone for the moment. No, actually, I have no. Oh, well. I'll if I have to make modifications to this, I will just. Well, what if I what if I did this? Watch. Delete this. Trim this. I mean. Okay. So what if I did this? Watch. So oh, if I need to. Uh, edit this in the future. Maybe it might be easier if I do something like this. Put this right here. That's the middle point. Can I... I want to make um, 2.5. So it's 5 millimeters both sides. Bi-directional right there. Can I then well control Z, control Z. Uh so I'm I'm trying to do it so it's it's such a way where I can just simply make an adjustment on one side and I have it have it on the other. So let me just do it like this. Let's let's delete this. Trim these off. Come on, trim. Yes, trim. I want to trim that. Yes, trim. I think I want to extend this line to the center line here. So trim this. Yes, trim. Make this into a construction line. Now extend this to there. So I think I can just make a, a mirror off of this now. Mirror about, what about you? File, uh, features, extrude. So let's make this 20. Um, mid plane. Okay, so file, 
save as. I'll call this one, I don't know, C clip. A one. Now, of course, it's not quite a C clip. It's all sealed up on one side, but I'll work with that later. What I want to do is just make a quick little assembly. And just see how I put multiples of these together. I go insert components, triangle one. Okay. Go view, hide all types. Go insert components. C clip A. Rotate. So I guess it's not 20, huh? It's more. So I guess I have to go back to the triangle. Ten point two five. And ten point two five. Okay.
Okay, so maybe I'm back to where I fixed the errors. Save it. So let's see, if I put multiples of these together. Make that. Here. And a little spacing of zero point two five. Here. Okay. Well, maybe I should have had it the other way. <laughs> No. Let me try now with two more. See, clip put one here. Insert components. Put one here and begin to see how this might shape out. Rotate there, there. So zero point two five. Good. This one here, also zero point two five. And just grab a side. Yes, uh, just grab this one. Grab that one. Then grab this one. Grab this one. You know what? You know, since I'm going to make this to a C clip, uh, one of those. Uh, uh, one of those surfaces there are, go are going to get deleted, so I'll have to go back in and fix. But that's later. We'll do it now. So, okay, so the idea is let's get uh, another one and begin to see how this might begin to shape. Uh, rotate component. In this case, I think I want to rotate it like that. So, mate. So, you can see this is going to be tedious, you know, tedious to, to electronically uh, assemble and tedious in the real world putting uh, a physical model of this together. But I kind of prefer something like this because if I do it as, as a fixed object and I make the dome, even if it's in several, like a quarter of a dome. So, you know, you put two quarters, you got a half, you can extend it or, you know, or, or put four quarters and you have a, 
you have a you know half a dome well you have a dome um if you want to make it into a sphere you know you can just do it again but instead of doing it like like in quarters for example in which case you know i'm printing to make a quarter of it something like this would be easier to mass produce by printing multiples to have multiple sizes because what happens when you know you have to do a big size so then you know things get a little bit out of control so something like this is it's a matter of injection molding for example multiples uh, and uh so that could be a project that could eventually be done and i kind of prefer it like that as an as you know for mass production okay so i gotta go mate I notice whenever I stream and I do a broadcast with this, it goes slow. The computer goes slow. I don't think it's the computer itself. I think it's other things, uh, the broadcasting and a whole bunch of other stuff that's causing the slowdown. Because if I play like a lot of videos and things like that at the same time, I don't have any any slowdown issues. So then let's see, I want to do this. That surface there. And I guess it's going to be that surface there. Now, of course, it's a matter of finding the sweet spots. So let's see. But I'm, I'm not worried about that. That's that's going to be about moving this thing down. And you know what? Kind of part of me is thinking, well, what if I had an inner piece to connect as a bar? I could put I could put lights inside here and not worry about the edges like I like I was. So yeah, that's 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 going to work to 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 my my advantage. So you know, this is a small thing here. I guess I can have a a better angle. Uh, something like that. So for fun, let's put another one here. Insert component. C clip right there. I'm going to say rotate i'm not going to do a whole you know the whole structure not right now <laughs> you know eventually if this works then yeah eventually i will but for right now all i want to do is just to see like you know put a couple of these together and see if it would make a practical way to do the dome So I don't want this thing to be rotating all over the place. So let me go ahead and say fix. Then let me go to and say mate. Come on. 0 0.25. Okay. And then I want to make it to here. Okay. And then I want to take that and that. Put it together like that.
something like this. Would this actually work, you know? Let me do another triangle and begin to see. Insert components, triangle. You go mate. Make this side zero point two five. Maybe to here. See if there is okay. No spacing. I don't want to select that and select this one right there. Okay. Now I'm curious. You know, part of me is thinking, well, maybe I could see with the, the reflection. Part of me is thinking that this could work, except that if you look at the, well, no, it, it, it could work. I think it could work. Maybe it just, maybe it works only here. Maybe I need to put a, a few more, maybe up here and begin to see how this angles up. And maybe I, I put one there and see how this one and then see how that spacing in between would be. I think if I could put a triangle here, angle it, triangle here, angle it, would the triangle with the space between this triangle and this triangle, and it's going to form another triangle. But will that be the same dimensions? So let me go insert components. Let's see clip. And if I go in did I go mate? I'll make this. To here then I want to make this one to here with a 0 0.25 separation okay and I go insert components and go triangle again. And in this case, I want to rotate the triangle. I go Make this, I want make that to, to here and make this side to here with a zero point two five separation. Oh <laughs> wrong. I guess here. Yeah, something like that. 
now begin to see I don't know what angle that would be, but I'm going to say I'm going to say this one I want it fixed at the moment because I want to force, so I don't want that one to rotate. So I'm going to force this one to rotate. I guess I'll have to do some sort of uh, design to kind of put around the corners here so it doesn't look incomplete. So let me go ahead and save this file, save as. Rebuild, yes. Assembly. Um, test one. No, no, no. Let's just say assembly. Uh, Geo. Basic one. Okay, and. Uh, Let's see where I was doing an, an experiment at the very beginning. Let me just say, let me just go uh, save as. Geodesic. Okay, I can, I can get rid of this one. Okay, so I want to go insert component. I guess to do this test, I really need to do one, two, and then. Well, let's see. Uh, so C clip. I need another C clip thing here. I hope this is not going to be like one of those endless things. You keep on adding more, adding more, adding more, and it's like, oh, I need one here, I need one here, I need one here, <laughs> and end up getting a big mess, you know? Yeah. hope it's not going to be something like that. Rotate. Something like that there. It could be mate. Okay, so then I want to mate this one here at with a 0 0.25, then rotate the view so it's here. Okay. And, um, and I want to... So like this one right there, and I want to mate it to right here. Uh, maybe I'm going to have to make that one fixed as well. I know so many are fixed. So the only only one that's not fixed is this one. <laughs> um, so now if I try with a triangle.
I'll have to rotate it upside down. Something like that. I suppose when, I don't know, maybe I can come up with a system where when it comes to assembly, I can mark the sides and say like, okay, side one to side three, you know, side two to side whatever, you know, so things like that. So you have like a one, two, three pattern. So someone can just eyeball and say, okay, do I have all the sides correct? I got one, two, three in, in the clockwise. And then they turn it and they say, okay, here's one, two, three in the clockwise or, 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 or one, two, three in the counterclockwise, you know, for the upside down, you know, or something like that, you know, three, two, one or something. So that way people can see a pattern. I have to think about that, but yeah. Okay, so what I need to do is make these. This one. Zero point two five. Okay. To here. Okay, and then that to here. Mm. There was a okay. So is this going to work? Enter components. See clip. How do I do for the top? I suppose I should be looking at a, not a pentagon, penta, pentahedron, five-sided, because it'll be one, two, three, no. So it'll be a hexagon then. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So would this actually work? Because, you know, it's going to be kind of tight. So I think maybe two more triangles and I can start seeing, I think. So maybe I should have just done the pentagon shape here on this side. Oh, well. Um, I suppose I need to look at a soccer ball. So go move, rotate. Go mate. It's a zero point two five separation. then mate this here 
to this one. I think I'm getting out of control with uh, the fixed points. So this one I'm going to try to say float. Now was this one float? Yeah, this one float. This one you say fixed. Was this fixed? I don't think this one was fixed. So this one here, let's say this one was float. Okay, float. Is this one float? This one. So how about this one? Okay. So this is the only one that's fixed at the moment. Yeah. So I can move this one a little bit out of the way. One, two, three, four. So let me just see if I put another, if it will mate. No, not mate, sorry. Into component. I go. Another C clip, put it there. And then I'm going to say insert components triangle. Rotate. Something like that. And then I say, I want to mate. This. The separation, no, no, no separation. Do it again, mate. This to here. Now I want to have a separation of this of zero point two five. With this. this actually work now here comes a moment of truth huh Let me um, make this piece together. So this to here. This with a 0 0.25 separation to here.
I'm wondering with these pieces rotating will can I can I I don't think I can see this is what what gets me you know it's like okay so the pieces are the, I guess the triangles cannot be equal equal sides or perhaps these angles are too steep it looks like it would it would want to work huh This is where the experiment is running into some problems. Well, part of it is that there are so many different, uh, you know, angles here, angles there. So some of these items don't look like they're going to line up evenly when they end, but they actually do. Now I don't think because of the spacing, maybe the spacing is the is the issue. Maybe this needs to be tighter. Let's. Is that actually the case? Um, go into components, into another C clip thing right there. This. Eight with a zero point two five separation. This to here. This is just going to be too much. Insert component. Triangle. And then rotate component. You can see it's not going to quite, it's not going to work, not like that. Kind of look like that Star, Star Trek uh, Voyager game, uh, Calto.
had a feeling it's a lot of it's to do with these uh parts here let me can i move this out can i move this out of the way can i uh say make this You know, it just might be a tight fit, but I have to get the angle right and all that. So um, I'm being optim optimistic on it. I mean, it works for a soccer ball, right? Maybe what I should do is watch. Maybe, maybe what I need to do is um, maybe my approach is is flawed. Hmm, yeah, so this this is not quite working. Go so file. Let me just save it so you know. Yeah, rebuild, save. Let's see. I'm curious. So if I go new, you know, I'm not going to worry about the, the overall dimension. I just got to put it down. So what if I go, um, front sketch, sketch. Let's do a polygon. Let's make this six sides. OK. 
Okay, and uh, so what if I just take this and I just start dividing it? I'm curious if what's the length here? This is what 7.94. This one, so 77.94. So 77.94, 77.94, 77. So in other words, it can work. It can work. So, back to this. Okay, so let's go back to this, make sure everything is floatable. something <laughs> can i can i force it like let me just save this can i force it like rebuild yes can i force it like if i connect this to that will it become a rigid structure that it just that the only way to get everything to fit will be to just let the computer uh calculate the proper angle you know like and just make it all join Uh, I got a feeling it's not going to be the way I think. Make that. To this. Hopefully it doesn't break. Hmm. I'm, I'm amazed it, it joined. Okay, but now it's not. Uh... Look at that. So if I go make this to here, uh, zero point two five. Okay. It looks like it wants to work. Save. Everything is kind of kind of jumbled around. Can I can I kind of massage it, you know, by
Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. It's it wants to work. I almost feel like printing us a, a few of these just to see if I can physically make it go because you know dealing with uh, the software to to move things around it's not easy can I kind of inch it along can I say uh, make this fixed so that way it doesn't move and then uh, make another one and then you know have that one move a little bit yeah. okay so what if I say let's say this one float and then this one fixed uh, maybe I'm going to move it here Really, I gotta find the right angle, you know. It looks like it wants to work. So if I say this one, float. And this fixed, and this fixed. That way I try to force these to go at a certain angles. Can I say this one to, to or fixed? That way I force this one up a little bit. I guess I want it like that. So I'm just eyeballing it, but I'm sure there must be a better way. So I just want to get this to a point where I will feel confident if I have more sides, it will balance out and become that dome. I suppose what I need to do is make the dome and then kind of figure out how many sides Now, I got to get going, folks. I'll talk with y'all later. I'll do another broadcast. I'm going to think about this some. Um, I mean, it's got a, I got a feeling it, it wants to work. You know, you can see it there. 
it kind of wants to make the shape maybe because all the pieces are so loose that it's it's resisting you know i mean resisting in terms of finding the right angle for it I mean, a geodesic dome is supposed to be a, a very good, strong structure. So perhaps by doing it like this, you know, um, I am kind of running into challenges because it wants to be a nice, rigid, strong structure. So there's going to be, um, you know, how would I say? I gotta find the sweet spot, you know, that kind of thing, the sweet angle. Okay, well, that's it for now. Just an experiment. So, thanks for watching. I will catch y'all later. And uh, have a great weekend. Bye bye.